as you've heard, welcome to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. This game originally launched on the Nintendo Wii, but is now fully remade for the Nintendo Switch, and it looks amazing. I've played it a little bit a few years ago just by myself, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm super excited to play it for all of you guys. And if it's anything like the game we played last year, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, we are bound to have a great time. So with that being said, let's get started with Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Nice and sunny day on Planet Popstar. Can't think of anything better. This game needed to be chasing Kirby. Who wants that cake? Oh boy. Oh, and there's Meta Knight too. Reading a good book. What was that? Whoa. Uh, oh no, the cake. They don't even notice. Okay, maybe Kirby noticed. Something is popping out of the sky. It's a, a pirate ship? It's something and it's coming down fast. I think there's gears falling from it. it's falling apart. Watch out below. I think we have a crash landing. Dude, that's the sail of the ship right there. They're all gonna go check it out. Oh no, I hope they're okay. Ooh, they're opening up. Anyone home? Whoa. Knock, knock, we're coming in. Oh, whoa, it's like futuristic in here. Oh no. Are they okay? Oh, they're awake. Pretty panicked though. Oh, all of those gears, 120 of them, all missing. And the pieces of the ship. That's no good. Hmm, maybe we could help. <laughs> Aw, Kirby is so cute. Kirby wants to help. Kirby and his friends will find all the pieces for you, yeah? You're just being Dana Waddle and King Dedede and Meta Knight all hopping in to help out. That's amazing. Whoa. So there's five different pieces we need to find throughout Planet Popstar. All right, well, let's get to it. Head back out into the world and find those ship pieces. How hard can it be, right? We'll get this thing as good as new in no time. Okay, so here's our first world popping up. See, so yeah, we just sort of get the round, I think it's Planet Popstar, right? Adventuring with Magalore. A visitor named Magalore has dropped out of the blue and landed on Planet Popstar. He's ready to lend a helping hand during your adventure. Helper Magalore is here to help. He'll give you potions that double your stamina and can save you from falling down holes. This will also activate auto swallow for Kirby. Would you like for Helper Maglor to help while you play? I'm gonna take a pass for now. I wanna play the game how it originally was, but that's pretty cool. But we have our first level here, level one, Cookie Country, with 13 gears to find. So let's hop into it. See, so yeah, I guess with each level, there's just different things to do. Very similar, of course, to Kirby's Adventure that we played on the original Nintendo Entertainment System just a few weeks ago. Um, so let's go for it, to stage one. So I guess we'll have to look for the gears as we're adventuring through. Play together at any place or time by sharing Joy-Con controllers before people can play. I'm just gonna play on my own for right now, but they can drop in or out whenever they want with the touch of a button. And of course, this is the Kirby game, so we get to run around and eat up enemies and all that kind of stuff. It's so pretty. The backgrounds are gorgeous, I love it. And there's all the little stars to get to, which I think are extra lives, but as you can see, you can eat up enemies just like that but we can also, or blocks as well, and spit those out right at them. We have those little stars. It de definitely seems similar, oh no, to uh, Kirby Star Allies, which we played a lot of when that came out on the Switch a few years ago. 
There we go, we got the uh, sword ability this time. I don't know if it has, yeah, it has ability description. So here's sword, don a green hat with your sword in hand. Spin slash, do a sword dive as your finishing strike. It's all about the flourish. And it does also have different moves here. I'm not gonna go super duper into those, but I do like at least showcasing the different ability descriptions. So yeah, we can slice and dice just like that. So that's pretty cool. We'll keep this ability for now, but as we run around, we'll be getting more abilities throughout the adventure. I can't get over how pretty this game is. Yeah, we can we can double tap the dash. I'm already doing it. This just looks so good. And then we can puff up so we can start floating around. Kirby's got quite the repertoire of skills. What's up here? Ooh, okay, there's some extra stars. And then I will get rid of you really quickly and then we'll go through the door. So I think we're still, I don't know if there'll be uh, any gears around here, but hopefully we find some. Oh, okay, here's a new ability. So we can always press the, the minus button to drop our current ability and get another one. This is fire. Feel the heat of hot flame techniques. Light fuses, climb walls, fire climb. Get fired up with the secret move of Fireball Inferno. That is really cool. So yeah, all of them have so many different moves and sort of, you know, technique to them. So that's always good to know. And if there's a platform like this, we can just fall right through. I'll get rid of some of these guys. Oh, we got a key. What do we need the key for? Oh, whoa, that was cool. How did I do that? Uh, Down and B. Oh yeah, I guess for the door over here, throw the key at it or something. And we get ourselves our first gear right here. And will it tell me? Energy sphere found. Energy spheres are scattered across the land. Try to find all of the hidden ones. I'll be trying my best. That was the first one. There should be two more somewhere in this level. I can dash through that, no problem. Oh, and there's actually extra food to get from that too. Definitely appreciate it. So we gotta just sometimes just destroy blocks. Oh, so for this, I need to drop my ability and then uh, I'll spit that over there for now because we need to move this block. As you can see, if we hold the button for longer, we get a one up or we're able to eat even bigger steps. That's pretty cool. Like this big guy, ow, no problem. Right here we go, Ooh, we got it. And then we can just launch that at all this. That's so cool. So Kirby's able to gobble up a lot of stuff in this game. And let's try out this one. I get all of this stuff. I can then spit it back out and then get this. So I think the stars sort of work the same way as coins do in Mario, where if we get 100 of them, I think we get a one up. I don't know if they can be spent in any way, but I can still find out. I also like sort of the outline that every character has in this game. It really makes everything pop a little bit. Is there anything over here? Not really. That's right, I'm gonna be diligently searching around, trying to find any kind of extra stuff. Mostly, you know, the, the spheres, but whoa, what is with this? Okay, let's eat you up. Whoa, is it the Ultra Sword? Oh man, so this is like the big thing about this game is that we have ultra abilities. Look at the swinging around, it's so cool. Oh man, and do we have a description for this one? Ultra Sword, packing pure destructive power. It's a super ability. Its name, Ultra Sword. It destroys everything in its path, even the ground. So that's pretty cool. There's not really too much more you can do with it besides this right here. There's everything on the screen gets destroyed in such a cool way. So let's do the same thing. Whoa, it's a big, uh, I don't even know what kind of knife, sword, whatever it is, but I guess it's different this time. That was neat. Okay, let's try again. I'm not really lining it up perfect, but it just sort of strikes everything in front of Kirby. So cool. Oh, whoa, this one's all sort of, it broken up, and inside, what is that? Can we go in to the big vortex? We can. Is this like a bonus stage? I think so. Whoa, <laughs> this is cool. Whoa, the wall on the left is closing in on us, so we really gotta get moving. So if I don't need to worry about it, I probably shouldn't. Maybe I'll eat you up and then send you flying just to catch up with everybody else. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna one up for that too, nice. This is pretty cool. So we have little bonus sort of challenge stages. We might have to keep in mind here. We can get both of you. Oh man, here we go. Definitely want to try to get you. Ah, you bumped me, that's not good. And I guess I don't really need it too much if I can just send you out that way. What is this gonna get us? Are we still going? We are, with the fire ability this time. So I'll take that. Because we had the sword ability before, so we might mix it up a little bit. We get two of them, but we have to defeat the Sphere Doomer. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so that would be good, is to get both of the ones we're missing. This is so cool, though. We have to fight the boss to be able to get it. 
Whoa, okay, so trying different moves with the fire ability. We're damaging them pretty well. Oh no, but <laughs> they're, they're hitting back a little bit. Okay, just a little bit more. Got it! So there we go, we defeated the Sphere Doomer, and we get both of these energy spheres. One one energy spheres complete, that was so cool. Let's get this meta made out to heal up and head back into the main portion of the level. I don't know if there'll be anything else to do with the Ultra Sword, but I sure hope there is. The Ultra abilities, or whatever they're called in this game, are a big deal. They're sort of like a fun addition to everything. Whoa, there's a blue one up here, which will get us a good like 30 or so, something like that. But there we go, I guess that was the end of the first level. We did great. Oh, and they have this thing from Kirby's Adventure, so we have to push it, push it just right just the right time, and we only get number two. So if we can get the timing perfect, we can get all the way to the top and get a bunch of extra lives and stuff, but for right now we just get 15 extra stars. Okay, so with our first stage completed, we're moving on to stage two. So yes, we're more of the same, we'll get three more of these gears. So let's get over here, stage two. And we'll be making our way through the entirety of Cookie Country in today's video, so yeah, should be great. Are these new? Can I, will they give me an ability? Whoa, they will, the leaf ability. This one's new to me. Time to dance. The leaf dance creates a gorgeous swirl of razor sharp leaves. Press L and R to guard and, huh? You vanished. Whoa, whoa, we're camouflaged. That's so cool. I love all the super creative new abilities. Whenever I play a Kirby game I haven't really played too much before. Okay, let's get up here. Oh man, <laughs> try to hit them a little bit. Might take a little bit of getting used to. Cause I know that of course, with most Kirby games, and, and definitely this one, it, it introduces some new abilities. I just don't quite remember which ones are new and which ones aren't. Okay, there we go. And I guess we've made our way to a little star here, but if there's too many enemies, I can always just, you know, hide away. There we go. Okay, let's hop through and see where we're moving. Way above the trees and everything. This, oh man, the game is so pretty. I mean, obviously the game was pretty darn good looking when we played on, like when I played it on the Wii, but now it's just so much better. What's back here? Looks like just some extra stars and stuff. Gotta look around, I just don't know exactly where the gears could end up. And if we miss any, we'll just have to replay through the level to get them. I guess we could fall down there, that might not be so good. So let's drop this ability and try out Cutter. Now this is a classic one. Cut through ropes with the blade of a well-aimed boomerang. Aim it upwards or down or hold the charge of a hyper boomerang. Okay, so if we do this. Oh, this is an ability I use a lot in uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. In 3D, that was super useful. So we can use that against these enemies quite a lot because we can sort of cut their little, their web. For the most part, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna hit them directly too, so that's pretty good. Got it. So yeah, Cutter is definitely a good ability just because it has all that extra range. We can grab some extra health here, even though I don't really need it. Gotcha, and gotta be careful here. This is another pit. If we fall down, though, we're done for. But whoa. Yeah, we can cut the ropes for platforms. Wow, that was cool. That was a whole combo. And I will do the same for Waddle Dee there. So how exactly do I do this? If I cut this, won't it destroy? I guess we'll see. No, okay, it goes right through. Awesome, so there's a one up for us with the 10 lives already. Interesting that this game has lives. I really feel like mo most of the recent Kirby games don't end up having that at all. I haven't found any of the gears so far. I'm a little worried that we might have missed one. But once again, if we did, not really worth sweating. We'll, we'll, we'll go back and get them. What's in some of these? We'll get a sandwich and a nice drink. Looks like lemonade. What is this? Is this an ability? I don't think so. We just hold this cat and we just start launching stuff around. <laughs> this is cool. Whoa, and we can destroy this stuff. So we gotta be quick with this. It might not last forever. So let's try to get out there as far as we can and see what we can, we can do with it. Oh, right over there. I think I got it. Cool. Oh, that made a whole nother platform. All right, keep it moving then. Oh, right up there. Got it, so I'll be up there in just a moment once we destroy all this. Oh, I can just put it down, but eventually it does explode. Okay, so let's grab this gear and there we go, first energy sphere. Keep going, the gears, because it's just a gear to sphere. 
<laughs> there we go. Let's go through. But I'm glad that definitely means we haven't lost any. But there is another new ability. This is Needle. Prick your foes with a thorny jab. Really stick it to them. Roll from dashing to bring the pain with a rolling needle. Super cool. So we can go like, whoa, whoa, I can throw the ability? I did not know you could do that. That was really neat. There's a lot of nuance to Kirby's movements in these later games. They can roll around like that. It's almost like the wheel ability, which is really cool. And over here, we just have some extra food that I don't really need, but you can never have too much food when you're Kirby. There we go. Just trying to be careful as I'm jumping up. Oh, I got both of them. That was cool. And a meta made once, once again, don't really need too much, but maybe we could, whoa, that was quite the move. Just a big needle upwards. Oh, and we can like stick ourselves to stuff. Whoa, that's so cool. Quite the dangerous ability. We could have gotten there for a moment, a uh, beam ability, we'll have to do that soon. Nothing over there, okay. Huh. I guess we could go through this door. I hope we can come back through. I, I maybe should have thought about that. Oh no, I really hope I didn't just miss something. I guess we'll at least have the chance to uh, grab a different ability here. This is um beam, of course. Lash foes with a whip-like beam. Dash for cycle, grab and capture. Spin in midair for a revolution. Charge it up and bam, wave beam. So yeah, we have this cool little beam that we charge it up. We need that. And does it charge up anymore? No, I think that's the maximum. Pretty cool. That is so crazy. Oh man, we're fighting a boss right away. This is Gigant Edge. Oh man. So let's back up a little bit. We'll use our range to our advantage. When he revs up, we need to back up. All right, you stay back, buddy. Oh no, no, okay. He was charging up. I was just barely able to get back from that one. Okay, whoa, oh, I'm supposed to jump from that one. <laughs> Whoops. But I guess I could jump at him like that. Oh, that's cool. One more time, and we got ya. So I'm guessing they'll just drop sword, but I guess I should try. Yep, they just drop sword. All right, well, it's definitely seeming like, oh no. Okay, I can get it, I can get it. Uh, that I might have missed a gear before, because there was a little spot that I missed. But we'll see for ourselves right here. Ah, yeah, I did. Okay, well, we know exactly where it is. So not the end of the world, just sort of a shame, but looks like with that, we've gotten to the end of the level, so it wasn't too long of one to get through. Hooray! <laughs> Good job, Kirby. So we're two stages in already. Let's try to do our goal game. That wasn't too bad. Oh, must. so close, so close. So we'll, we'll get it eventually. All right, well, that's great. We should be making our way back over, of course, to the overworld of Cookie Country. So before we move on to stage three, presumably, yep, stage three in this little cave, let's hop back into stage two and get that one sphere I missed. Mary Magaland? Mary Magaland is now open. Magalore has built an amusement park on a distant planet. It's filled with attractions and souvenirs. You can visit it at any time by pressing X. We'll definitely do that sometime later, but for right now, let's head back into stage two. So I don't really see, oh, right up here. One, two energy spheres complete. It was right there in the corner. Darn, that's so sneaky. So at least I got it now. It's out of the way and we can worry about the next stage. Okay, now with all of the energy spheres in stage two, let's move to stage three in this little alcove, the little cave over here, whatever you might wanna call it. We're hopping in. Oh man, the background, once again, it's so vibrant. There's just so much going on. There's just layers to it for sure. Oh, I think that was a new ability there that I probably should have gotten. Sorry about that, I was so distracted that I didn't really even register. Okay, so we'll go through here for now. And if we see an, an opportunity for a new ability again, I'll definitely go for it. But right now we gotta avoid some of these different cannons in this cave. There we go. Head down this way. And oh, here it is again. So this is the spark ability. Electricity in your hands. Wiggle the analog stick to create a spark barrier. Zap foes from above with a sudden lightning strike. So yeah, I guess if we, whoa, look at this. That's so neat. I love how crazy the abilities get in this game. Okay, if we activate it like that, we can just follow through no problem. I guess if we were to have taken the more dangerous way though, there might've been some extra stuff for us. Let's try that too just in case there's an energy sphere waiting for us, because I don't want to miss out on any of that. It doesn't look like it, but I'm, I'm glad I made sure. And, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Here's our first sphere. 
glad I checked. And now we can go through the door. So if there's ever three stars above the door, that means it's a one-way door. We can go through it, but we can't come back. Anything up here? No. Um, but if it's a one star door, if there's only one star above the door, I think that means we can go back and forth, at least so please. So if we ever run into a three star door, we just gotta make extra sure that there's not anything we're missing before we move forward. I love the, the watery cave in the background though, that looks so cool. All right, so let's grab that. I keep jumping and then pressing up to make Kirby puff up, but it doesn't work like that in this game. It has to be A button twice, which is usually just not what I'm used to. Up here we have a one-up, so I, I think I have to yeah, do that really quickly. And it wants me to drop my ability here, and if, if you need me to. Here we go, here we go. So we need it to line up just right, but if we do, we get ourselves some extra food. That's great. Definitely wanna grab that. Even if we were full on health, I think. And we'll get up here, we'll, we'll get the fire ability. Why not? There we go. Well, let's press this button. All right, so what do we got here? Looks like it wants me to do the beam. If it wants me to do an ability, I typically just go for it just in case. But as we're running through this cave, I would love to hear if you guys have ever played the original Kirby's Return to the Dreamland on the Wii, or if this is your first time experiencing it. Either you're playing along with me, or you're just watching, I would love to hear your experiences with the game so far. All right, so it looks like we have our first, or our second gear here. Um, to get it though, I'm gonna have to get a key over from somewhere. We haven't passed a key yet, but I think, aha, right over this way. So now that I've destroyed the, the cannon, <laughs> it just fell again, we can make our way through, got it, and put it right there. And there we go, we got two out of three of them so far. I think I will, yeah, jump over you, just like that, perfect. Right, we're doing pretty good through this cave, this icy, watery cave, and I'll destroy these two, gotcha. <laughs> So this is where the beam ability is definitely coming in useful. And I, I wanna get it, but I don't wanna get hurt by the, the waddle D. There we go. How do I, I don't know if it goes down that low. I guess it doesn't really need to. Oh man, was that a good idea? Okay, it was fine. So I don't see anything else too much going on here before we could go through this door, because once again, since that's the three stars, we can't come back. It's just good to, you know, make sure we're not missing any short, shortcuts or secrets or anything like that that will make us have to replay through the level. But, oh, there's a little, a monkey with a key. I think they had that in Star Allies as well. We gotta be quicker than the monkey if we wanna get whatever they have. So let's just try to make the most of that and then oh, get rid of you before you go too crazy. Oh, I just somehow dodge him. Okay, the, the, the monkey was luckily not too quick. But do I just, yeah, just I just defeat them like that and I get the key. <laughs> cool, so excuse me, okay. We got the, the door open right here, perfect. So that's gonna be all three of them. We're honestly doing a great job. And I think this might be a new ability up here. I don't know, this is a weird enemy for sure. Oh no, I, okay. This is festival, whoa. The festival ability is here. Now Popstar feels deluxe. Bam bam tootly toot, time to make merry with friends. Everybody dance. So this might be a new one. Whoa, how does this? How does this work? We're just having a great time. Quite the festival, and I guess everybody just gets bounced around like crazy. That is so cool, but it was, oh, it's a one-time use ability. So similar to like cook or explode. That was awesome. So we'll definitely have to make the most of that ability whenever it pops up, but for right now, our goal game is back. Maybe I got it this time. Ooh, this one was a little bit worse. I think I hit it a bit too late. So each time I'll just try to keep it in mind so it can get a bit better. I definitely wanna to get to number one. So with one three completed, stage three, what is next for us? Way up there, stage four. So there's still more to complete here in Cookie Country, so let's get right to it. Right up this way, and got it. Oh, this one has four gears in it. We're stepping it up a little bit, but let's see what we can do with this one. I think after this we'll have all 13 gears, right? Pretty close to it, if not. Um. Well, I'll use the fire ability for now. Of course, just like every Kirby game, the music is fantastic. I love the rainbow in the background. It makes a, like a full loop. Huh, that's neat. Whoa, whoa, that almost fell on us. Okay, I guess we gotta be careful for some of the rocks in the background. They'll be wiggling around. Like this one right here. There it is. <laughs> that's scary. 
Is somebody pushing the rocks over? Or the rocks just waiting for us. Whoa, and look at this one. We can go inside the platform and get ourselves our first energy sphere of the level. Three more to find them. Charge through you, and I would like to keep with fire by the option to. Look, we need to run across this way super quick. We don't want to get squished. Just gonna jump right over you. And before we go over there, is there anything cool over this way? It doesn't look like it. I think we're good to go. And what do we have next? More of that big tree in the background. I feel like we keep seeing that one. What is this enemy? Oh, nothing. Okay, so that one did not give us an ability. Some of them just don't. And that was one of them. Okay, so we will torch you away. Oh, and there's one of the invincibility candies. This is always nice. Of course, Kirby becomes invincible. We can run super quick and just destroy everybody in our path. Some of these abilities and items, of course, we've seen in previous Kirby games, like I said. We've been playing some more of the classic ones. I definitely want to get more into Kirby history with some of the classic Kirby adventures. And, whoa, what is that? I think that was another Magalore ticket. I didn't see anything else there, so I think we're good to go with our invincibility. And onto this section. I didn't know if there was anything more I could use the invincibility with over here, but I hope I didn't miss anything. Guess we'll have to wait and see. What is this thing? Uh... Oh, it'll protect us. Whoa, interesting. So we're shielded. We grabbed some sandwiches. And we didn't need the health, but you know what? It's delicious, I'm sure. This is so neat. So there's just so many new concepts and ideas in this Kirby game that were really cool at the time. And still cool now. Uh, so I guess I can't pick that up. Oh, but this one's about to explode. So let's grab this and run as fast as we can. Really make the most out of the time we have with it because these just don't last forever and there could be a little secret in store for us for getting to the end with it, like right over here. So I guess I need to destroy you two and I'll put that down. Uh oh, there's still plenty more. Gotcha. Go down this way and boom, that will be sphere number two. Now I don't think we can climb up ladders with this. Can oh no, we can? Wow, look at Kirby go. But we can't really get it up there. So this was the end of it anyway. So. We'll just jump up like that and move to the next section. So far so good though, we haven't missed anything. And what is over here? Okay, so oh, that's a cool jump. Oh, I like that a lot. We do the little spin. And if we get up here, what is, whoa, we got ourselves the super fire. All right then, so we dropped this one. I don't know what's going on with the, the trees and why they're blinking like that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab Monster Flame. Oh man, let's try this out. So we just turn up the heat a bit, a giant fire dragon roars through the screen. That is amazing. So if we go over here and take a look at it, Monster Flame, a fiery dragon flies through the skies, storming into battle. The fury of its Monster Flame will burn every foe in its path. That is so cool. Look at that. So I guess I, maybe that'll mean we'll fight another boss that will have two more gears. Here's what we'll the wait and see. We'll try, yeah, just hitting you guys. And you can see under Kirby, there is a meter. I don't know if that's a limit on how many uses we have or how much time we have. So trying to be careful regardless. There we go, get rid of the rest of the waddle dees. But if we can just wait for everything to sort of line up a bit just like that, it might be a better idea. We'll just throw the rest of these out. Just in case we're looking for the secret board. We still have more than half of it. That was good. Oh, there's another Magalore ticket. So neat. Okay, grabbing all of that. Should be getting up an extra one up there. So getting quite a few lives. Whoa, so that's gonna torch up this whole tree. Oh man. Well, that's one way to make a path. And inside was another teleport. Okay, so let's definitely get through that. Before I do though, what is under here? Anything cool? Not really, not really. Okay, I guess maybe that's if we run out of the fire. So we'll, we'll drop the monster flame and head into the portal. And oh man, it's always so cool. I like the shiny rocks. Just gotta jump over the spiders. Those are big spiders though. Maybe I should be eating them. Ah, oh, Kirby, don't fall. Gotta get the big block. Yep, this whole thing. You got it, you got it. We're keeping up pretty well. The reflective like little meteor rock kind of things in the, in the background are always really cool. Gotta get the bigger ones just so that we can get rid of that guy. And 
There's another extra life for us. We're gonna have to be quick with this. It's a little scary. There's our one up. I missed a star, but you know, that's not too big of a deal. All right, we got through. And well, it looks like we have the choice of either the leaf ability or spark ability. Let me try the spark ability a bit more against another sphere doomer. So I guess these enemies are pretty common. I can handle them. Oh yeah, let's build up our shield. Keep doing that, keep doing that. Now if they even get close to us, we can either launch it at them or them just being near it is gonna damage them. That is such a cool ability. I love that one. We're able to destroy the sphere doomer, no problem. One four energy spheres complete. That's great. So look at us. Get some extra health there and back to the portal we go. And with that done, back to the green and beautiful world of Popstar, cookie country. And that's gonna be the end of 1-4. So we did really good with that level, we didn't miss anything. And let's see if we can't get it this time. Come on, come on. I think I did it too late again. Yeah, I'm definitely doing it too late. Trying to be a little bit more anticipating of it, but I think that's messing me up. So we'll just sort of go with the flow. Not worry about it too much. I mean, 10 stars is still good. Helps us get a little bit closer to our next extra life. So a bunch more there, and whoa. Whoa, is it gonna be the boss of stage five? I wonder, any, any guesses on who it could possibly be? Level one, energy sphere completed. Redeem stamp tickets. Stamp tickets can be redeemed for stamps in Mary Magdalene. Collect lots of stamps to get special souvenirs. That is cool, I can't wait to check out Magdalene later on. I did not mean to go back in though, whoops. Okay, so right over here we have boss stage five. So who is it gonna be our first boss of Kirby's return at the Dreamland Deluxe? I can hear it, something's going on. Let's switch over to the cutter ability. That's one I'm pretty confident in. It's not one we've used a ton in today's episode either. And uh-oh, I see it already. <laughs> it's Wispy Woods, right? Where's his facial features? Oh, there they are. And he's not happy to see us. Wispy Woods. All right, old friend. I'm sorry to do this to you. We do it to you every game. <laughs> but we gotta beat you up. We can make quite the combo. And these apples are falling for us, but able to dodge those pretty well. I can just do this combo pretty good too. Uh-oh, he's getting huge. Oh, man. Oh no, whoa, he gobbled us up. <laughs> I did not know he could do that now. He's got some new moves too. It's not just Kirby with the extra abilities. Oh man. Okay, going over here. And then, oh, we gotta run. We gotta run. <laughs> really, the, the, the tables have turned. Kirby's the one getting eaten for once. Oh man, that was cool. Oh man, oh, and we got him. So we took a little bit of damage, but nothing that was too big of a deal, right? So. See you, Wispy. And we get ourselves a piece of the ship. So Magalore is one step closer to taking back to the skies. Well, good job, Kirby. I'm sorry, Wispy. Better luck next time, right? And of course, we were if we were playing with multiple characters, they'd all dance together. Maybe we'll have to try to share that at some point. But I guess we'll just toss that at the ship. I think those are supposed to be sort of like, the, not the sails, but the oars. Yeah. Guess we'll see for ourselves here. Ooh, great. That should help with maneuverability or, or something like that. Oh, here's Magalor. Hey, buddy. You did it, Kirby. My ship has its oars back. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you to find the other missing parts. Keep up the good work. And don't forget to keep an eye out for all those energy spheres. Will do. If you collect enough, the broken doors within my ship will reactivate. There are some really cool sub games that you can play with your friends. Huh, that's neat. Not to mention copy ability rooms with all kinds of copy abilities to try out. And there are several challenge stages that will really test your skills. If you find enough energy spheres, reactivating those doors will be a breeze. So whenever you see one, be sure to grab it. 
Wow, you've already found 13 energy spheres? Way to go, Kirby. You've reactivated the door to the to to a challenge stage. It's over in the room to the right. Why not give it a try? Huh, challenge stage. Maybe that's something we'll save for some other time, but good to keep in mind for sure. Can we talk to Magalore anymore? Hey, Kirby. The lore is looking a bit better now that the ores are back in place, huh? So I guess the ship is called the lore. You found 13 of my energy spheres. As for the missing parts, I still need you to track down a bunch. The right wing, the left wing, the emblem, and the mast. If you find enough energy spheres, all of the doors of my ship will reactivate. I've got some really cool sub games and challenges. I'll keep track of your high scores and even give you prizes. So keep going for those new records. Will do, Magalore. I hope we can get your ship basically good as new, right? That'd be fantastic. So there was our first world here in Kirby's Return to Dream Land. We could take a look at it at the world map. But man, what a pretty game. They've done such a great job remaking it. And this is World 2, which we'll tackle in the next episode, Raisin Ruins. But yeah, now it seems like we were fully completing with Cookie Country. And we can see sort of a full detail of that here. That's nice. So yeah, next episode we'll move on to level two Raisin Ruins, but I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Let me know if you want to see a new episode soon. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.